What's up guys, Dean again with another Rust video. Uh, in this video, it's gonna be a uh, base building tip, trick, technique, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to hide a tool cupboard inside of your foundations. Yes, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. You're actually gonna be able to put a tool cupboard down in your foundation. As you can see, I am building privileged here. There is a tool cupboard on this foundation here. So if someone were to try to raid your base, they would basically go blasting through all the walls if if they hated you that much trying to find your uh, tool cupboard and they definitely would not find it. No one would expect to start blasting your foundations. But uh yeah, let me show you guys where the tool cupboard actually is. <clears throat> it's straight below this here. And uh, this is actually a floor. I just have it perfectly flush with the top of the foundations to where it blends in. And yeah, there's your tool cupboard. If you're on a modded server, you could just box it in like that and slash remove that every time you need access to it, or just keep it boxed in there forever. I mean, even if you're on vanilla, as long as you got all your buddies authorized, just box it in there and you don't ever have to worry about anyone ever finding your, your tool cupboard. So you may be asking, what if people just start come blasting through my my uh my foundations here when they're raiding my base well first of all no one's gonna do that unless they're trying to level your base but look they would have to blast through at least two to three foundations before they even seen this wall here and it it looks just like a foundation no one's gonna blast all the way that deep into your foundations for no reason at all like it's not like they know your tool cupboard is there you know so uh, it's pr it's a pretty handy technique, and yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys how you're gonna go about building this. All right, so basically you're gonna wanna have an idea of your basic floor plan, your layout of your base. Um, I'm going to be starting off with just these triangle foundations I'm standing on. You need to find very, very flat land. Like, I, I'm not stressing it enough. It needs to be very flat. Like, even those small little inclines over there are going to mess it up. Like, I was attempting to do it over there in the water just because it was shallow and... I wasn't really having any luck, but find the flattest area that you possibly can. The more flat the land, the more flush that that floor is going to be with your foundations. And yeah, that's, that's definitely going to help out a lot with people being able to notice it. So this is where I'm going to have my tool covered. Just build out maybe three foundations from that point. I'm gonna go ahead and downgrade this to twig really quickly. I forgot to mention that. It's gotta be twig. I will show you why in a second. So now you're gonna need four 
lanterns. So uh, if, if you're new to a server, you're gonna need to find that BP. And yeah, destroy the three triangle or foundations on that side and the two square foundations on the other side. You need to have the single square foundation off to itself, nothing around it to interfere. Then you're gonna get your lanterns and come on the inside of your foundation and place each lantern up against the the peg or the leg of each corner just like this all right uh, what you're basically doing with that is giving yourself an idea of where to place the the uh, bottom foundation that you're gonna put your tool cupboard on. This is the most important step right here, other than finding really flat land, this is the most important step. You have to get this foundation perfectly placed down, exactly like the one that was above. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it quick for the video purpose, but as you can see that's pretty close. That should come out just fine, but if you want if you want it to be 100% unnoticeable, you need to really take your time with that step. Make sure it's perfect. Alright, remove the lanterns and go ahead and build all of your your uh, foundations up around it. Let's check out how, how good it lines up. Yeah, you see this side, it lines up pretty, pretty perfect actually, and that side, uh, it's, it's, it's not the best, but... Yeah, you, you guys get the point of how this is going, um, yeah. So basically, now you're going to destroy those, you don't need those anymore, and place your tool cupboard down. And there you go, guys, that's, that's pretty much the brains to this little trick. Go ahead and place some walls all around it, make sure they're facing the correct way. I'm gonna build some stairs here real quick just so I can get up. Put your floor over top of the the uh, tool cover there if that's if that's what you want to do. But as you can see, it is pretty flush there. No noticeable bumps when running over it. So yeah, what you're gonna want to do at this point is just build your floor plan like you had planned. And then upgrade everything to stone, or whatever material you want. I'm just gonna do it for it's a stone for the video. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there is a little gap or line, whatever you want to call it, on these two sides here. That's just because I was placing that bottom foundation very quickly. But if you take a look here, once you're placing your walls down, you can't see anything. It looks exactly like a foundation. Even if you had like an airlock right here with the tool cupboard below it, no one would ever know. Like watch, let me upgrade all this for you guys. You can't tell a single bit. You can't see those little gaps, so I mean, you don't have to get it perfect, but obviously if, this, if the uh, doorway were to be blown off, there would be a chance of someone noticing that little line there. They would be pretty skeptical to just blast the foundation, but I mean, you never know. You could also do things such as placing ladder hatches down so that you could gain access to it again, like on a vanilla server and whatnot. That way you don't have to blow through the floor if you ever want to get to your tool cupboard. Uh, you, you don't even have to put your tool cupboard in these things, you could just have them for secret loot rooms, you know? Like you could just box off the top of it and have it full of chests down there and have all your C4, all your guns, everything. No one's ever going to find that. No one will ever find that. Your whole base can get raided and I guarantee that that will still be there. 
If you did want to have access to this little room still, I would recommend doing it from a second floor of your base like this. That way, they would have to go to the second floor to be able to get down to the tool cupboard. Assuming they didn't just blast through the wall there, of course, but... Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty awesome uh, little building technique. And I really think this is a game changer for uh, people finding your tool cupboard and griefing your base or building raid towers and getting up to the top, you know? This, this is a really helpful technique, and like I said, you could just you could make multiple of these in your base and have one for a tool cupboard, one for a loot room. You know, the possibilities are endless with this. Anyways, I really hope you guys can use this with your bases, and I hope you guys learned something from this video. Please leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you did. Peace!